going on, everybody? The Iceman here on this Wednesday. Um, yeah, the YWC IWC saga just continues on and on and on. People are so worried about what everybody else is doing and not worrying enough about what they should be worrying about. And it's basically worrying about your own damn channel uh, for the most part. A lot of bitching and moaning going on about the world of wrestling. Um, if you don't like the product, don't tune in. Simple as that. Um, there are some of us on here that try to bring the younger audience uh, back to the days where we thought wrestling was exciting. Uh, like I was talking about NWA wrestling in a video uh, just yesterday and... It just seems like people just aren't interested in hearing about great times in wrestling because the NWA, I think, first introduced the Attitude Era. But people aren't interested. Uh, young people nowadays that um, get here on YouTube only really know pretty much about the WWE, uh, present-day TNA kind of stuff. And, you know, I'm sure they probably, if they can, watch Ring of Honor. Uh, but this is 2015, and wrestling, uh, to be quite honest, is not as good as it was in the past, and that's a fact. Now, um, as far as being happy with it or not, I look at it this way, it is what it is. I think there's, there's plenty of room for improvement. I think they have the opportunities to improve, but it's up to the people within that company to want to make these adjustments, make these amendments to try improve their improve their product. Whether they choose to do so is their choice. So um, that's up to them. So you know, I still watch it. Um, and if there's a match that comes on that I'm not interested in, I will walk away and continue to do something else. And come back when the match is over. And I've done that plenty of times in the past. Because there are certain wrestlers that I don't care to watch. And uh, I still do that to this day. Now here in the YWC, IWC. Here, here's an issue that I find interesting. This is not a community whatsoever. Uh, to me, I don't think it is. And I think a lot of people out there would agree with me. Uh, a wrestling community should be a community that bands together. But what I see in this community is people being jealous of other people, people bashing other people, people continually to, um, you know, uh, just put hate on other people and they do it publicly in their videos or they do it publicly in hangouts. And to me, this is not a community. It's like um, when you were in high school, when you had your little groups I mean, so many so many friends would hang out in this group, and then you'd have other group of friends in, in their group, and so on and so on. Not everybody sort of banded together. They had their own little cliques. And this is what I see here in the, the YWC, IWC, so to speak. Um, you know, I, um, I just think that uh, there's too much uh, where people are putting other people against each other. I think it's totally unnecessary. Um, like I said, there's a lot of bitching and moaning about a lot of other YouTubers. And then, uh, you know, what happens is it, it, it just sort of escalates to the point where uh, if one person's a friend with somebody and they complain about somebody else, then his friends are also going to join him and back him and they'll start doing the same thing to the person. This isn't what it's supposed to be like here in the YWC, IWC. This is supposed to be a wrestling community. Uh, we we all should be here to, you know, talk about wrestling um, and not talk about who's got more subs and who or worry about what this guy is doing um, on his channel. Um, yeah, I just... It gets to the point where sometimes when when you just go on your computer, sometimes you shy away from even going to YouTube because you sort of know what you're going to see. And, uh, you know, it just, 
it really wasn't like this years ago. In 2009, yeah, there was there was drama. Don't get me wrong, because I was part of it. But there was also a lot of good wrestling shooters, a, got a lot of good wrestling talkers, and we talked a lot about wrestling, and that was the sole subject. It seems like nowadays, uh, here in the wrestling community, it just it isn't like that anymore, and uh, you know it sort of sort of takes the fun away a little bit. But um, but anyway, um, wrestling today, getting back to wrestling, wrestling today, the product isn't as good as it could be. We all know it could be better, but again. Um, it's the people behind the scenes, the people that run the promotions, and um, they're doing what they see fit and what they think uh, makes for a good product. Now, I think we, as being on the other side of the coin, watching it all, um, and with all the dirt sheets and what we read here on the internet, I think our opinions probably are a lot more harsher than what they would be if we didn't get to read the dirt sheets, if we didn't read about a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes. Uh, maybe we would be just satisfied with watching the shows like we used to be. I think the internet has provided us with a lot of hate towards wrestling uh, because, like I said, we, we just read things. You know, and, and we know things ahead of time, and we can make judgment knowing that we know these things ahead of time. Um, it'd be nice just to go in and watch a Monday Night Raw without having a preview, without hearing about what's going to go on with that show. And I think on that perspective, uh, if we were to go in to watch the show, not having a clue what was going to happen, I don't think we'd be so harsh or be so critical of the shows today. And of course, as we all know, spoilers destroy a wrestling show, for sure. Um, because you can read it up ahead of time. I think it's destroyed TNA. Um, that is their own worst enemy is the spoilers. And, um, you know, without the internet giving information away, I think TNA would probably have more viewers. But it is what it is. And that's the bottom line. So there you have it on this Wednesday um, I hope everybody enjoys their day. Uh, I'm trying to, but uh, it's been, you know, this this week from, well, from today until the rest of the week is going to be very busy for me. So I try to get in as much as I can when I can. So enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. Wrestling tonight, of course, as always, with NXT, TNA, and Ring of Honor. And uh, we'll see you all next time.